Welcome to eXp Educators, and thanks for checking out our channel. My wife and I joined eXp Realty a little over two years ago. Wow, was that a great decision for our family and for us. So we decided to create this channel earlier this year to show you all the different ways that eXp Realty could be of a benefit for you and your family and your real estate business. Because <clears throat> we believe that to make an informed decision, you need to have some information. And we also believe that if you knew what eXp Realty could do for you, you'd already be here. So let's go ahead and dive in. Today's topic <clears throat> is going to be, I'm going to challenge you a little bit, and uh, not so much as informative, it's just to start asking yourself some questions. And today we're going to talk about thinking differently, because we're going to take 99% of the realtors in this country and say that this is a little bit about how their business works, uh, especially those that are not with eXp. So we'll take 99% of the realtors who are not with eXp Realty, and then, then we can talk about how it's different over here at eXp Realty, because our company, our company is just different, plain and simple. It is, a, it is a change agent for brokerages, as Gene Frederick likes to say. Again, a change agent, agent for brokerages, thinking differently, doing business differently, uh, behaving differently outside of your nuts and bolts real estate. <clears throat> so in kind of nuts and bolts real estate, and if this describes your career that I'm talking to you, is you're out looking for buyers and you're out looking for sellers and you're out looking for buyers and you're out looking for sellers. You've probably been doing that your whole real estate career because attracting buyers and sellers is what a real estate agent is supposed to do. Um, if you get a little, you start selling a few houses, all of a sudden you maybe have an administrator, maybe you have a team that you start to build, you have sales partners with you, and maybe that team gets bigger and bigger, and maybe the team is really, really super big. Uh, don't know the answer, but at the end of the day, you're attracting buyers, you're attracting sellers, um, you're attracting people to your organization or to your team, whether they be administrative, uh, the, the administrative backbone of what goes on, or your sales force in helping you sell more houses. But at the end of the day, that treadmill is just kind of chugging along, chugging along, chugging along. I bet if you look back at three years ago or five years ago, your business is probably very similar to how it was then. That'll be an important point that I'll bring up later. I'm gonna give you a quote from Tony Robbins real quick. Expect change, analyze the landscape, take advantage of the opportunities. <clears throat> Stop being the chess piece, start being the player. It's your move. Again, stop being the chess piece and start being the chess player. It's your move. So today, again, we're going to talk about thinking differently. And along with attracting buyers and sellers, what if you said, hey, I want to build a residual income. I want to not have to stress so much about closings. I want to start talking about winding it down a little bit. Maybe you don't want to retire. You know, real estate, you know, there's, I have, I know agents that are in this business, they're 70, 75 years old. Interestingly enough, in my 25 plus years of real estate, I've never been to a retirement party. I found that kind of, as I think about that, kind of odd because I've known agents that are well into their 70s that are still selling houses. <clears throat> I've known very successful agents in their 60s that didn't retire. Um, again, maybe I'm just unique, but if you've been to a retirement party, Love for you to share that at the link below. I'd love to hear about that retirement party. But uh, for a lot of you, I think that's probably going to resonate that you haven't really been to very many retirement parties for real estate agents. So when we saw EXP's opportunity here and started to think differently at um, the, the opportunities for rev share, the opportunities for stock and to build equity and to build um, real retirement, <clears throat> it made us start to think that, hey, you're on that treadmill, finding buyers and agents, finding buyers and, or buyers and sellers, buyers and sellers, buyers and sellers. You're just going and going and going. And I don't care if you're selling 10 houses or you're selling 310 houses. You're still on a treadmill, whether you know it or not. Very few get off of it. <clears throat> and um, good markets and bad, that treadmill doesn't stop. You know, the bigger your organization, the more you have to feed it. Um, you know, when, it, when the downturn happened in, in 2000, in late eight and, and on through, you know, 10, 11, 12, 13 and beyond, you know, I had friends with monster organizations that were having to come up with 70, 80, $100,000 a month to keep that machine going. And that machine uh, got turned around a little bit then and uh, became lean, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, you know, having to come up with those kind of numbers, 
you're, you're still on that treadmill. So again, you know, today I'm gonna to challenge you to think a little differently. Look at, hey, if I wanted to build an organization, I'm really good at finding buyers and sellers. What's easier to find, a bunch of buyers and sellers in this marketplace or a bunch of agents to help grow your organization and lock arms together and do something different? Um, again, expect change. Analyze the landscape. Take advantage of the opportunities and stop being the chess piece and start being the chess player. If Tony Robbins says something like that, that's probably pretty profound. And with that said, we're going to part ways with you today. If you'd like to learn some more, click on the link below. We'd love to get you some more information. We've got a few disclaimers. Uh, signing the link below will not cause your broker to be contacted. Number two, it will not trigger your license to be moved. Number three, there are a lot of disclosures in the info that you will receive, but this is because eXp Realty gives its agents free stock and free reven and revenue share. As my attorney friend likes to say, the more money involved, the more words that are needed to say. If you have any questions or are ready to join eXp Realty today, feel free to reach out to me at the email address below, and we will be happy to answer your questions and walk you through the process of joining. Thanks again for checking out our channel, and as we like to say, if you knew what eXp Realty can do for you, you'd already be here.